Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yavashai, Bahashim Brakakatash, double on to the elders, apostles of Great Moses, on the elder, the elders on down. Shalom to sincere Akim with us, whoever Yahweh, Bahashim Yavashai has scattered us in these last days. The righteous remnant return unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yashal. Okay, observing the ordinances, the laws, the commandments in the Holy Scriptures to the best of your abilities. Okay, it says a case in case it and Kwazulu Natal men. Okay, in South Africa, men wrongfully accused of rape after uh, of rape free after fourteen years. Okay, uh, this is crazy, man. You are gonna get arrested for getting yourself some pussy. Uh, but in the, in this case, he got wrongfully accused. Okay, of getting some pussy. Okay. So so to say, you know. Bluntly put. Okay, and rape is in the Bible, right? But with everything, there's terms and conditions which apply. Okay, we're well, gonna go through the terms and conditions which apply, and show you, right? This whole thing of rape is a Westernized thing, is a European thing, right? It only becomes rape under certain circumstances, right? And in the Bible, most of you people around the world, the most populations of the world, okay, all you nations. Uh, even the Bible has nothing to do with you. You, you like to say, I believe in God. I'm a Christian. I'm so, I believe in God. That's when you're going to find out what the word of the Heavenly Father has to say. It says, Deben men, that the five-year-old, uh, Kwazul Natal, a uh, man who was wrongfully convicted of rape and spent almost 14 years in prison is considering suing the state. The Njabul Lovu of Umlazi was acquitted last week after being sentenced to life imprisonment in 2004. So that's what exactly is happening. Guys are getting a life sentence for killing themselves some pussy. In other ways. Alright. Zandlovi was 19 at the time. And was doing the second year uh, of law a degree. It's like, and he was doing the second year of a law degree at, uni at, uh, at the University of, of Kwazulu Nata. Uh, it says that uh, during the, uh, the trial evidence was presented. Zandlovi was nowhere near the crime scene but the court overlooked that and sentenced him to life imprisonment. Because right, in society, these bitches, these fucking sluts, they've been promoted. They can't do no wrong. All, all she has to do is, he raped me. That's it. You're going to jail. Are right, you going to be arrested? You're going to be lucky if you get out of there. All right, the same thing that happened to this guy. All right. You know what? Let me get the, let me Let me read this. Micah 2. Because right, what's happening right now, this, this whole thing of rape, okay, it's not an African uh, culture thing. It was dealt with in, in its own way, okay. There was certain custom, okay, uh, surrounding rape and how to deal with it. The same thing goes with the Holy Scriptures, the, with the Holy Bible. But now the white man's rulership in his Roman Dutch laws, his whole system, it is corrupt, okay. It's a micro. 2 and 1 says woe unto them that devise iniquity and worketh evil upon their beds and when the morning slide they practice it they practice it because it is in the power of their hands it says they covet filth and take them by violence taking taking over these nations okay uh, and the wrong nation that you took down is, is what was the so-called negroes latinos and native americans uh, and their descendants so you sold them among the nations scattered amongst all these nations that's the problem all right and they take them away, so they oppress a man and his house, all right? even the man and his heritage. Okay, let's look up this word heritage real quick before I go any further. Nakhala is Nakhala, okay. All right, it says, uh, it says property, portion, share, inheritance, portion, all right. It says a properly something inherited. It says abstractly occupancy, uh, concretely, uh, uh, heirloom. It says generally as estate, uh, but uh, it says portion heritage inheritance. Okay, it says possession. Okay, let me go down there. So like here. Let's go to the to the root. Wait. It says uh Nakal Nathal Nathal 
and this is a uh, possession in acquire inherit possess or this have or get possession property possession inherit something as I'm looking for this is made to possess let me go down So that to occupy uh, consecutively to be bequeath in general it says or generally distribute uh it says uh, let me go down because to have to says it says a uh, 40 uh, it says a uh, distribute for divide for a for and or, or for inheritance or buy give for or, or to have to give blah 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 all right Gives the precept in, uh, in, in uh, Proverbs three and thirty-five. This for Israel, so like this is a uh, useful for the children of Israel. Uh, 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 this is acquiring a possession of Canaan and as a uh, possessing it. Uh, precept here, blah blah blah. So it's about inheritance. Like for for go for, for rambling a bit. And, uh, so this whole in inheritance of the man is a man that has been oppressed with his inheritance and his heritage is what the laws. Which they govern themselves with, all right. And we're gonna go through it in this next uh, in this next article. These are uh, from uh, uh, I I L I O L uh, News. Okay, to see what Z A says. I don't look away. My parents sent me back to my rapist. Your husband, in other words, okay. Because that's the problem with these young generation right now. They're living under Esau's ways. So it says, it says, don't look away. My parents sent me back to my rapist. Okay. It says, uh, s s oh, it's so nonsense. I'm not going to read all of that. It says, uh, Zanella, who told her story on condition of anon an anonymity, explained the, uh, in graphic detail how she was are forced in marriage with a stranger when she was abducted and taken to another homestead in rural Kozunata. This is what they call abduction. They call it what a ugutwala. It's an actual tradition, okay? If a young man sees a you know a young woman of an of a marriageable age, okay, uh, you as long as she's not uh promised to anyone, she's not married unto anyone. Uh, and the part of the signs you're gonna see if the woman is uh, married and is a promise to, to, into to anyone, or she's married, she will have her what her head covered, and the and the the, the dress code is quite different. All right? If you don't fit that character, they easily just just take you take you you see what you want, you take it, you grab it, and before you do that, you must know where where she lives. Uh, you, you should, you're gonna follow her around, see where she lives, then you're gonna take her. Oh, because once you've taken her and made and humbled her, you go there to to, to the parents' uh, place, and uh, and 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 pay what what is due unto them. All right. And the scripture says what it says. Uh, speaks about fifty shekels of silver. Okay. It says uh, let me let me read. Uh, it says uh, so like it says Zanello, or uh, read that. It says it says at the new homestead, I saw many many different. Uh, eight, many, I saw many men of th of different ages, but did not know which one of them will be my new husband. At least I found him. He was old and and had one eye. <laughs> oh, oh, says I was only fifteen years old when he was uh, when he was thirty five years old. He showed me he didn't love me and and abuse me. She said, "Ah." Uh, Says at night, while she was sleeping with her husband, in the round uh, rendezvous, meaning while she was already your husband, if she if you got abducted, she take you, she, she grabbed you and snatched you, you're already his property. Okay, and and that's not the the Western way of doing things. That's not Esau's system, because uh, Esau he he lo he oppresses people. All right. Says at night when she was, at night while she was sleeping with her husband, in. In the Rondavo, thank you for admitting. Now she's she she belongs, uh, to him. Thank you very much. Uh, it says men would wait to hear if they had intercourse. All right. It says uh, if they did not hear anything, they would knock on 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 the door, and my husband will let them in if I have if I haven't had sex with him 
they will beat me up and hold me while he rapes me. <laughs> hey, they were t hey, you know, you know these uh, these 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 hair mice, they, they take things to another level. Uh, we see that happening right now. It's certain things you do, man. Yeah, you, you don't force uh, the course of the river like that. Okay, so it's one of them. Says then one of the other men will will would rape me to show me to uh, to show my husband how to have sex with me. All right, and that's going off. Okay, you don't do that. All right, you, you just committed adultery right there. Okay, scripture says what in Proverbs? He that commit uh, adultery lacketh understanding. These need these nations, you heathens, you Hamites, uh, you lack understanding. You don't have these laws and commandments. That's why you do some some shit like this. Says says thereafter my husband will have sex with me she said hey you admit she he is your husband but he's a fucking dumb husband who allows uh, another man to 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 fuck uh his wife so she said uh she said she endured the pain and returned to her parents to share her experiences she escaped silly woman there's only to be told she had to return to her abductor, her own parents says, "Look, man, she, she, she was already what? She has she has already been humbled. Uh, so what use is she? You know what? It's uh, Deuteronomy twenty twenty two. Uh, verse uh, verse twenty. <laughs> Let me go to the point. It's uh, Deuteronomy twenty two verse twenty eight. It's if a damsel find." If a man find of a damsel that is a virgin which is not betrothed, not promised to anyone, any but not engaged, and they hold on her and lie with her, they shall, and they be found, then shall the that man lay, then shall the man that man, then the man that laid with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of of silver, and she shall be his wife because he have humbled her. And he may not put her away all his days. All right? Simple as that. It says what it says. But now, but now Esau's system, what? They call, oh, this is rape. You're raping. You're a rapist. This is human trafficking. That is absurd. That's inhumane. So right there, the parents said, look, man, go back to your husband. All right? Says, she said, uh, she says, she said, she said, she endured the pain and returned to a to her parents to share her, exper her experiences uh, only to be told she had to return to her abductor no to your husband go to your husband woman there's a month after giving birth she refused to have in intercourse with her with her husband so-called abductor uh, her husband her real husband and he and he beat her up it's like and and he uh, beat her until her leg broke. Cause well, he was broken your legs. Cause you fucking run away, bitch. God damn it! She escaped and never returned after she was uh, admitted to hospital. What the hell are you thinking? You wanna uh, you you were trying to escape from your husband? Uh, you wanna run? You what are you? A runaway bride? Says Zanella is not alone. She was among a group of 150 women who took part in a comprehensive study about abductions, all right? rape and forced marriage, marriage, where it, it is done under the guise of Ugutwala. It's not the, under the guise of Ugutwala. That's exactly what it is. It's part of tradition. All right? But guess what? Under these Roman Dutch laws, okay, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. There is no longer that the kind of understanding right now. Isaiah 5 verse 11. Uh, it says, uh, what one to them that rise up Salakia, Salakia? That's not the one. Where's the precept? Salakia, bear with me. Yeah, Isaiah 5 and 20 says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and and light for darkness, that they put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitterness. Because uh, they were calling what they call this rape. Uh, they're calling this uh, now is rape. Uh, and, that, and that's not the case. Uh, it will be rape and punishable unto, for death 
if the woman who got so called raped and was promised to someone engaged that guy that guy who, who penetrated her would be put to death okay if, if she belonged to someone and got raped and she don't scream both of them will be killed simple as that okay simple as that okay all praises unto Double or something deals with apostle Shalom to Sinsiaki. These laws and commandments are going to be followed in, in the kingdom. All right, that's going to be part of the kingdom of heaven. Every, every single law in the scriptures be followed to a T. All right, and all you nations you are, you are going to obey. Shalom.